I know with Monk, basically things are pretty damn good. Oh, Monk is so uh, good. Oh, Monk is so good. Which, Except for this, the the capstones, the statues suck. Here's your Jade Serpent statue. I don't press soothing mists. Actually, you know what? Let's, cool. let's just talk about Monk okay. uh, first. Right, Brewmaster. I think it's always been fun and awesome. Yeah. Bots change? Uh, they've got more buttons. That's are they it. fun buttons? They are generally quite fun buttons. Uh, you could like Rising Sun kick back again, which means you're like default. Like you actually have so many buttons to press. It's crazy. Especially if you take Russian, Russian Jade Wind, you run out of like <laughs> Keybind's really easy. And you also have Dampen Harm and Diffuse Magic. You've got so many more cool ones before, so more buttons, so many more interactions that it feels really f good. It's also pretty, it's not like super complicated, but there's so many interactions that optimizing it will be hard. And it's like, that's where like the new philosophy of combat comes in. You're like, I I never run out of buttons to press. And the choice isn't, you know, it's no longer like, oh, you're out of buttons, press one of them when it comes up. It's now you've got eight buttons, press right one. And I think that's a little bit more compelling yeah. overall as a decision to make. And Brewmaster feels like pinnacle of that. We're like, how? I, I'm trying to keep Breath of Fire on cooldown, but I have two charges of keg smash, and every keg smash resets Breath of Fire. When do I have time for spinning crane kick? I, I'm just keg smashing and Breath of Firing all day long. But I've got like shadow boxing treads for a thing. I've got rising sun kick does some damage. How do I fit these buttons in? And that's a pretty interesting enough challenge hmm. in itself. And you know. If you've got the finger length to play it and press different buttons, go for it. Like, I think it's I think it's really good. Uh, um, Windwalker then. Yeah, Windwalker. We I think I already talked Windwalker enough yeah. overall. Where it's just it's <laughs> full it's zoomer ADHD spec. Yeah. So these are my raw notes. I said full zoomer ADHD spec. It's in the, <laughs> in, in the video coming up. It's described as what happens if you give Shadowlands <clears throat> Monk Adderall. You yeah. get Dragonflight Monk. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's fun. Ask a lot of interaction. The white tiger statue kind of sucks though, but everything else is great. Great. It's like great. Monk is, it it was in the upper pack for me uh, that I that I could choose. Always is. Like. Um, I the only thing with Windwalker is I do remember uh, when you ended up getting too much chi, yeah, to sort of deal with reasonably, and then your um, uh, combo strikes started to feel kind of annoying and a bit like a limitation. So. That's why you have um, that's why you have Strike of the Wind Lord, another chi spender instead of Fist of the White Tiger, which is a chi generator. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've got power strikes to generate more chi, and you've got ascension all the time now, which gives you six max instead of five. Whereas that used to be a choice versus the energizing elixir. Mm -hmm. So now you get you okay. get more you get more chi regularly with Tiger Palm, but you have a lot more to spend on, and also your cooldown reductions way higher, especially when you Tiger Palm and that gives you because you have ancient teachings of the monastery which means your blackout kick hits multiple times per tiger palm. So now you have more chances to reset your rising sun kick. Oh shit. And also you lower your fist of fury cool so, down more. So you, think this so been, you spend uh, a lot more chi on average, I think. Tweaked into a more enjoyable position. This has been tweaked into a more enjoyable okay. position through hmm. a couple of different additions of interactivity. And also, yeah, as people point out blackout kick cleaves with shadow boxing treads. Oh. So you have to, Tab target a lot less to build up your Mark of the Crane stacks because if you've got a if you've got a, if you just black a kick and there's three mobs three three marks. Oh my god! Right, that's really different. Yep. Huh. This is the like this is fully on full on like someone's taken someone's taken the opportunity of like giving new talents to like surgically fix really interesting problems. See that's and it's really man, that's good. really uh, it's really tempting for me. Yeah. It, I, at its core, really enjoyed it, but it just had some frustrations where I didn't end up finding the fun as much. The fun, the, the fun it's, is... It's feeling like those issues have been, as you said, like keyhole surgery. Yeah, the fun is there to the point where I started sweating playing it on dummy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's kind Man, of okay. Uh, then Mistweaver, you know, it's funny with Mistweaver. Um... I all basically what I remember about Mistweaver is essence font and don't noob trap yourself with um, oh, the soothing, soothing mist noob yeah. trap that they have. Yeah, well, you like you, yeah, basically soothing mist is only again on massive funneling, which is bullshit because it's like the first thing in the class tree, and you're like, why, why? 
right? So the, the, the noob trap is still there. Yeah, but also they have a whole bunch of their strengths coming out right. with like fist weaving kind of having the not be all end all kind of choice. You can kind of a little bit of it uh, and a couple of different things like the ability to reduce the cooldown of your invokes. So for Chiji or for Yulon, down to one minute, but lasts a lot, uh, like 12 seconds, I think. Feels really good. You've got a lot of um, nice little additions. Like, I think, is it, is it Feline Stomp? It hits them with an Essence Bolt, bolt, which triggers all the interactions that that comes in. And you go, whoa, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of interaction that's really fun to keep track of. And it feels like if you're playing this optimally, you'll have to be kind of like like a god, but it'll be feel feel really good. Even just like even just Feline Stomp resets because that heals and does damage means you can just actually da you can DPS like hell and it feels really good. It's it's a it's a good spec. It's a very good spec. Monk overall, kind of looking like one of the safest options. It's I it's would like everything's say good. Uh, in isolation from my personal preference for my druid character, I would play Monk hands fucking down. And then what's hilarious is Monk. Uh, it's always been the least played. Because I think, well, some of that's because it was like one of the latest editions, and it's also got that complexity that scares people off. Mm. And fantasy wise, it's not super tied into the core of World of Warcraft, but it is. I think almost since its introduction, it's been the best spec best class of the game. Yeah, it. It's been consistently underappreciated. Yep. A lot of people thought that. Yeah. I, I love it to pieces, but I've never played it. Mm. But even like Transcendence having a talent that you can Transcendence twice in a row now. So you can do some really crazy tricks. Uh, Skyreach being something you can take for like the the Tiger Palm dash as Windwalker. It's great. 